positively, no playing or loitering. And we're gonna stay here for five minutes because we like to loiter. No, I'm What's going on guys? You're watching Best Fan TV. Today I'm here with Toronto local Rezzy. What's going on? How you guys doing? Uh, where are we right now? We are at 2645 Jane Street. Um, basically the place where I grew up and a whole lot of stories, a whole lot of memories that you guys are going to hear about. This apartment right here, uh, First two-story apartment out of this whole complex, and um, was born here, left in my later years, and uh, still come here to this day. You're a huge advocate against bullying. How has that been uh, expressed through your through your music? Well, I kind of take um, first-hand experiences that I've had, or if it was a second-hand experience, but you know, mostly first-hand, and I. Uh, I turned it into something that people can relate to, you know? Example, Home of the Brave, it was based off around that and I made it sort of like a personal anthem. Bullying took up a huge chunk of, of, of my childhood. That's why I had to, I, I have to address it. It's just, it's something that you just can't go without saying considering that, you, you know, it was a part of your past. What advice would you have for someone who's going, maybe going through some bullying right now? I've said it to a lot of people and and that is bullying is short-lived right it doesn't really it only exists if you make it exist now on a much lighter note you i saw that you were on a top 10 buzzfeed list how like how sick is that how psyched were you when you it found was, that out it, it was crazy it was crazy to, to even be put up there with people like um, some big names yeah, Wonder Girl, uh, Meek Mill was definitely on there. Too. Ryan Lewis, I believe. Ryan Lewis, yeah, and just being just being on there, um, it says a lot about about me coming out. It says a lot about what people are saying, what people are talking about, and not to mention, it says a lot about what my music is doing. A lot of people have treated you differently in a negative way because of your age. How how do you deal with that? I basically, I like, I basically, what I was saying with, with bullying is, well, I block it out because what more can you, can you take from that uh, other than people being ignorant about it? I mean, if you say that I'm 17 and I can't do what a 25 year old is doing, I can't do what a 21 year old is doing, then, then what are we talking about here? I bet you everyone who said that or looked down on you upon your age was never on that top 10 Buzzfeed list. I think they're just a little bit jealous. Oh yeah, <laughs> I have a, a, a couple of people definitely, <laughs> definitely. Um, but another thing, speaking about not even about age, is about the pigment on my skin. Really? Yeah, because hip hop is is obviously dominated by by um, by darker skin people. Yeah, yeah. And not to say that that's a bad thing, but you know, you know, they, they, there's other people and there's other types of, of of artists that are out there that just don't fall under the the broad idea of what people think hip hop is about. You can go with with people like Macklemore. Okay, yeah, he's he's more you know radio, but he's white. Or you can go with people like Pitbull. He's more pop rap, but he's but he's like you know he he speaks Spanish and he's like South American, Central American. You know, there's different corners in hip hop that that people don't like to acknowledge because they want to fit under that that broad scheme of things that you know it it should be only that. You got a lot of stuff coming up. Hey, you're going to LA soon. You're going to touring around U.S. Any other big plans? A lot of stuff I gotta keep behind the curtains. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, yeah. A lot of stuff I gotta keep behind the curtains just because I don't wanna I don't wanna give the whole plate yet. Um, but yeah, what you heard, going to LA, um, some red carpet events that I'm gonna handle down there, and tour in the US definitely very soon with the roster, which I cannot release yet. Just know that it's coming and just know that that'll be one of the best tours LA is gonna see. Now, seeing as we're best fan, what are you a best fan of? Could be anything. Anything. 
definitely a best fan of fashion. Fashion is definitely up there. Besides food and besides music, fashion is definitely up there. It's endless, it's its own culture, it's limitless, and yeah. All right, well, hey, thanks for uh, joining me today. For more exclusive interviews with your favorite artists, check out www.bestfan.com. Best fan.